Hi, and welcome to the second part of my lesson for the Classic Licks series in the lessons for January and February 2016. We are looking at the playing of one of the more obscure blues, rhythm and blues guitar players from the 1950s and 60s, Wild Jimmy Spruill, one of my all-time favorites. In the first lesson, we looked at some rhythm ideas that I'd taken from his playing, and in this part of the lesson, I'm going to share some really cool uh, lead fill ideas that I've, I've borrowed from him or I've learned from listening to his songs. And the first lick, I'm just going to go through, and I've got 18, 20, some different licks that I've pulled out of here. Some are pretty common. You hear a lot of different guitar players use them. Others are more unique to Jimmy Sproul. And a lot of his playing was his sound, his tone, and his approach. And I've never heard anyone explain exactly how he did what he did. I, I did read one place where he used his bare fingers somehow to get these sounds. I, I have no idea how, because it sounds like he's got a pick. It's so percussive and harsh. But anyway, we'll go through and figure some of these out. The first lick comes from a tune called Kansas City. And Kansas City is his most famous... I guess most famous song credit, he played behind Wilbert Harrison on this tune, he played one of the most ferocious solos of all 50s, early 60s rock and roll rhythm and blues. And there's one point in the song, right at the beginning of the solo, where he plays this really cool lick, which is real typical Jimmy Sproul, and it's in the key of C, so we're playing over the first position bar chord in C, and let me just play it for you one time, he does something like that, like this. Something like that. That's not exactly what he does, but pretty close. And so what he's doing is he's doing this lick that you hear a lot of guys use. And he's just speeding it up. He's playing it more viciously. And, and he starts out with two bends on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. Three finger bends. One, two, three. And then he goes to the 8th uh, fret of the 2nd string. Does this rapid picking. He goes back to the bend and then he rapidly picks on the second string at the eighth fret. Something like that. So the whole leg. And that's typical. Jimmy Spruill with that just really fast staccato picking. He's just bouncing off the 10th fret of the 4th, 3rd and 4th string to the 8th fret of the 3rd string. That's the whole lick that he plays at the beginning of the solo or something very similar to that. So there's a, a good, cool, simple lick. And sometimes when I'm playing in a solo, if I'm playing something more up-tempo or, or wild, instead of just playing, you can do that rapid picking. And we'll get into some more of the Jimmy Spruill ideas to lump on top of that one. But that's a good number one to two. Get with. Comes from the same song, Kansas City. And this is where we're going to first talk about really his signature lick, which to me is when he holds these bands and then does this vibrato while he's bending. And this is the standard Jimmy Spruill, his signature lick. Let me just play kind of an example from Kansas City. He's in the solo and he's playing like... That's not exactly what he plays, but it's that... That, that... That's the Jimmy Spruill sound. And what he's doing... And I'm not going to teach you the exact lick that he plays in Kansas City. But it's basically just bending up. He's in the key of C. And he's bending up that third string. And he just starts picking it like that. But at the same time, he's, he's shaking his hand. He's doing the vibrato with his hand. You know, we played some blues stuff. If you watch my lesson on B.B. King and we look at the, the way that blues players, when they bend, use that vibrato. But Jimmy Spurl just, you know, took it to another level. And so what you're trying to do is bend the string while 
while doing that vibrato. And you can keep it bent. And you'll hear in a lot of Jimmy Spurl's solos, he'll bring it down or move it back up again. And sometimes he'll even bend it up out of phase, something like this. example later that I'll show you. In fact, let me see if I can find what song that's from. Uh, I don't have it listed. There's a tune. Oh, Scratching. It's called Scratching. It's an instrumental in the key of F where he does that. And he does it up here. Bending over the first position F chord. So that's at the 15th fret of the third string. Pens it up so high that it even kind of gets out of tune a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It still sounds awesome. So that, picking, bending, and then doing the vibrato at the same time. To me, that is one of the things that I've really taken from Jimmy Spruill's playing. And I find myself in a lot of wilder songs, up-tempo blues or rhythm and blues songs, throwing that in. So that's... To me, the signature Jimmy Spruill. Number Spruel. three, which is another pretty standard Jimmy Spruill lick, comes from a, this, what I'm going to show you here, comes from an instrumental called Hard Grind, which is one of his more famous instrumental tunes. And a double stop type lick that you hear him use quite a bit is where he's basically taking his F shape chord position and, and playing it as a double stop, even a triple stop lick. <laughs> that and, and in hard grind he does this thing where he just plays it and then into a into the solo all I'm doing is if we're this song's an E so I'm making my F shaped E chord but I'm really just playing the top three strings I've got my first finger barring the 12th fret first and second string my second finger on the 13th fret of the third string, and he just slides into it from a one step below. So it's one, two, three. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. And you'll hear him do that in, in quite a few of his, of his songs, where he'll start out the solo or in the middle of the solo. Sometimes he plays it like that with a really rapid picking. Which is another pretty basic standard Jimmy Spruill thing. So if you're playing in D, you can do it there. If you're playing in A, you can do it anywhere pretty much except for F down here because you don't have the room to slide it in. So that is another signature uh, Jimmy Spruill. Lick number four is another uh, one of Jimmy Spruill's signature licks, one that he uses in a lot of different songs. And this is a double stop, and he plays, this is from the tune called Hard Grind, which we're, we used for the last example. And he's playing in E, and in, in part of the, the song, which is an instrumental, guitar instrumental, he does a lick like this. if that's the exact lick, but it's this, which is a really cool double stop. So if we're playing in E, there's my first position bar chord. And what we're really playing over is a D shape, E, and we're just taking off the first finger, or we can play it with our first and second fingers. And I've got my first finger, whoops, 12, 13, 14, at the 16th fret. Of the um, of the first string, and then my second finger is on the seventeenth fret of the second string. So you get this, and I'm sliding into it. Not one, two, three, one, two, three type thing. And then he comes into it. One of these single string runs. I'm not sure exactly in that song what he does, but this lick is in that song. So, to find it, here's E, there's your second position, blues box, you just kind of slide it in that second position blues box, to find it, and 
and it's really over the top of a sixth chord. And you're just playing the top two strings instead of all three. Hear the difference. Into it. So if we're playing an A, or C, we can use that double stop lick. You can use it all over the place, and you'll hear Jimmy Spruill use it. In a little bit, I'll show you a, a more complicated lick where he uses that. Lick number five. This is one he also uses in, in hard grind, and this is one you hear a lot of different guys use. But Jimmy Spruill, in this tune, and also in a tune called uh, Wild or Not, Number Nine Train, he uses this lick, and it's an E. But now, a lot of the song he's playing it up here, he's going to move back down here into the first position E chord area, and he does this. which you can mix up and play in a lot of different ways. And all this is, you guys are just starting now, this is a great lick to get into. Just taking my ring finger or another finger and, and putting it on the fifth fret of the second string while picking both the second string and the open first string. And you can just pick it in position. Like that. Or you can slide into it. there. But that's another classic Jimmy Spruill lick, especially at E, where he's playing uh, you know, some really cool stuff on the tune Number called six Hard Grind. is another pretty standard rhythm and blues, electric blues, guitar lick, but Jimmy Spruill again took these simple licks and, and made them his own by the way he attacked the guitar and played them. There's a tune called Big Muddy, which is by a guy named Larry Dale. You're looking for it on YouTube, and it features Jimmy Spruill playing this, again, a ferocious lead on guitar, and he uses this lick. It's played in A-flat, and you hear him at the beginning of the solo play something like this. That lick. And he's just got his, uh, is that right? And uh, Let me see, I got it in the right key. A-flat. Eight and nine. I got the wrong. I got the wrong thing tabbed out. I'll fix that for the tab. But he's playing this lick, which basically my pinky, if I'm playing it in the A flat, my pinky is on the seventh fret of the first string, and my ring finger is on the sixth fret of the second string. And to stabilize it, I put my first finger on the fourth fret of the first and second strings. Jimmy Spruill used that lick all the time when he's playing it in D. A lot of times he'll mix up the picking pattern. Or he'll use the vibrato with his left hand. Or he'll bend it. He'll bend the string as he plays that. Instead of just like that, he'll, he'll add some, some zip to it. And so that position, whenever you're in the first position, bar chord, you just move your hands over and you find that pretty quickly. So if you're in B flat, if you're in G, if you're in D. So that is a, a shape that Jimmy Spruill used quite a bit in a lot of different ways. Again, listen to a lot of his recordings. This one is from a tune called Big Muddy, but he uses this. Lick number seven is an example of, of Jimmy Spruill combining a couple of these different ideas together that we've learned so far. And this is from a tune called Kansas City March, an instrumental in the key of D. I showed you the bass line from this earlier, the second guitar part. And during part of the song, he plays a lick kind of like this. I've got it tabbed out exactly, but I'm just going to show you the, the idea. It's in D. And he starts out playing this lick. which in D is just my first finger on the 10th fret, first and second strings, pinky on the 13th fret of the first string, ring finger on the 12th fret of the second string. And he does a little single string. Something like that. Let me look at my tab real quick. into 
this lick, which we learned before in D, my first finger is going to be on the 14th fret of the first string, and my second finger on the 5th fret, 15th fret of the second string. So we combine. two licks in the same phrase, so. And then goes into something else to wrap it up. So when you play these licks, what Jimmy Spruill does is a lot of times combines them in the same solo and in between the, the double stop licks, he'll throw in the single string fills, this stuff. Something like that. So this is all part of the Jimmy Spruill stuff. Uh, lick number eight comes from a, a tune called Jersey City, a singer named Bobby Long, and Jimmy Spruill is playing the lead guitar on this. And there's a lot of ideas in this tune. In fact, he uses a lot of the things we've already talked about. One simple double stop idea that I haven't mentioned yet is a standard type double stop thing where he's playing an E flat. <laughs> in this song, and he plays something like this. That's something that Jimmy Spruill used quite a bit, as did a lot of other rhythm and blues guitar players. So if we're in E flat, he's sliding, he's got his first finger on the 13th fret of the first string, second finger on the 14th fret of the second string, and he's sliding with that one, two, three picking pattern, one, two, something like that. And so in any key, if you're an A, if you're an F, we'll do something like that. We'll play it really fast. And that's another thing that Jimmy Spruill used quite a bit. We'll call that lick number eight. I'm going to have to move this stuff around on my tab chart. In Jersey City, he does another little thing an E flat that I really like, where he starts out with this little single string thing. Where he's just really playing over the four, which is a A flat, like that. And he's going from the 11th fret of the second string to the 13th fret to the 11th fret of the first string, and then the 14th fret of the first string. Just bending it up. While he's doing that, he slips in the ring finger onto the 13th fret of the second string. So he starts out picking single string, and then he works in that finger to make it a double stop right in the middle of the lick. So it's and kind of emphasizes it more as the lick goes on before he goes into his, his uh, vibrato bends and, and all that stuff. So that's from a tune called Jersey City, which is an E flat, and that's from the, from the song. Lick number nine from Jimmy Spruill. I'm not sure what tune this is from. I'll have to go back and, and fill this in. But it's an E flat, and this is another kind of really cool Jimmy Spruill idea. And earlier I showed you a lick from Kansas City where he was in the key of C doing this. <laughs> And that's a variation on this pretty standard blues lick. Now in E flat, there's a tune where I heard him do this even more kind of ferociously. What he's doing here, let me just play it for you one time. And that lick, he's bending and picking both strings. So he's keeping his first finger on the 11th fret of the second string and he's bending the 13th fret of the 3rd string, using two fingers, my 2nd finger on the 12th fret of the 3rd string, picking both, and then getting the 2nd string, where my 1st finger is pretty much just anchored. And there's a lick that you can speed up, playing all different kinds of, of ways. If you listen to the playing of Gatemouth Brown and um, Johnny Guitar Watson, they use licks like this all the time. But this is from Jimmy Spruill's play. And that's a 
that's another really cool lick idea that you, you hear from him. And that's lick number. Lick number 10. Lick number 10 comes from an instrumental tune called Jump for Joy. And as he gets ready to go into the 5, this is an E flat. He does this really cool kind of triple stop bend to go into the 5. And he does something like this. So the, the band, which I really like, is played with double stop, starting on the 11th fret, 2nd and 3rd string, and then to the 14th fret, then to the 1st and 2nd strings on the 11th fret, and then he's going to band really three strings, it sounds like, with my first finger anchored on the 10th fret, and then he just brings it down and lets it sit. So I've got my ring finger barring the first, second, and third string. Bend it up. And then bringing it back down. So when the song goes to the five. So that's a little double, triple stop pattern. throw in there. And that is from a tune called Jump for Joy in E flat, and that is lift number 10.